The goal of this protocol is to generate human-induced pluripotent stem cells that express endogenous fusion proteins fused to in-frame N or C-terminal fluorescent tags. To achieve the desired knock-in, we use the CRISPR-Cas9 system and a ribonucleoprotein-based approach using wild-type S. pyogenes Cas9 protein and a synthetic two-part CRISPR RNA and tracer RNA. This RNP is co-delivered with the desired fluorescent tag sequence as a donor plasmid via electroporation. Putatively edited cells expressing the fluorescently tagged protein are enriched by FACs. Clonal lines are then generated for analysis of precise editing outcomes. This gene editing protocol has many advantages over traditional overexpression constructs. Because the fluorescent tag is introduced into the genome, the subcellular localization and dynamics of the resulting fusion protein can be studied under endogenous regulatory control. Here, we use induced pluripotent stem cells as a model system because it allows us to study the tagged proteins in diploid non-transformed cells. Additionally, since the cells can be differentiated into multiple cell types, like the cardiomyocyte cells shown here, this approach provides the opportunity to create and study tagged proteins in a variety of isogenic cellular contexts. However, with careful optimization, this protocol could be adapted for editing the genomes of other mammalian cell types. Hi, I'm Amanda Haupt. I'm part of the Stem Cells and Gene Editing team here at the Allen Institute for Cell Science. To date, we have used this approach to generate over 35 different cell lines expressing endogenous fusion proteins. We use these to study a wide variety of unique cellular structures and processes. This approach has been successful for up to 95% of the loci attempted to date with our group. This method will be particularly useful to cell biologists who are interested in better understanding the dynamics of a protein in live cells.